Sarah McKenna. Weather from where you live. Overnight, we had rain and thunderstorms, high winds across our area. Now, as you can see, precision has completely cleared out. No more rainfall right now after seeing over an inch of rain in several locations. Take a look at all the rain that did move in. Again, it was very heavy at periods of time during the overnight. We did have a few, few severe thunderstorm warnings that were issued. Fortunately, those have all expired. Nothing to worry about any longer. Those rainfall totals. Just over one and a quarter inch in Kokomo, just under an inch in Crawfordsville, just over an inch here in Lafayette. Boswell right around an inch as well. And so we are still seeing some street flooding, something you'll keep in mind as you head out the door today to work or to school. The good news is it should be going down throughout the morning hours and going into the day. We don't have any flash flood warnings, but we do have flood warnings. Now the difference is flash flood warnings typically means it's rising very quickly. A flood warning more along the river, more one of those long-term duration events, and this this is something that's going to be in effect all the way through the weekend, potentially. It's expected to see the Wabash River go up to just over 17 feet. That could affect Tapawingo Park's uh, walking and biking trails, as well as some of the county roads. As for the temperatures right now, 39 degrees in Kokomo, 34 in Rossville, 35 in Lafayette, just to the freezing mark now in Fowler, 33 Rensselaer. The rain has all cleared out. We still have the cloud cover across our area. These clouds are going to stick around throughout most of the day. In fact, Live Doppler 18 Futurecast has it all pretty much cloudy until about 5 o'clock. It'll be by 5 o'clock that we start to see clearing. It should stay fairly clear through the overnight and during most of the day on Tuesday as well. So for today, the rain is ending. You see those temperatures falling 41 degrees. We hit that at midnight. So I'm expecting our temperatures through most of the day to stay fairly consistent with where they are right now. 30 mile an hour wind gusts. For tonight, those clouds will clear out. Still fairly windy, 26 for your low. And on Tuesday, the sunshine's going to return. It's still breezy, but 47 the high on Tuesday. Taking a look at the rest of your live Doppler 18 forecast, it really does look like the work week is going to be fairly calm until we hit into Friday and Saturday. Temperatures are going to go up to the 50s by Thursday, 53 by Friday, but then rain builds in across the area. That's all combined with a cold front as well. So as you can see, it looks like it's not only going to be giving us our next chance of rain, but it looks like it's going to be giving us slightly cooler temperatures as we